Hi everybody, welcome back to the table. So I just got done doing the ocean beach pour. And um, if you watched that video, you know I had quite a bit of paint left over. Um, so I kind of refreshed that paint, added a few new colors. And today we are just gonna do one very large eight cup dirty pour flip. So I have my little, um, this is actually a frame that I built for another piece and ended up going, deciding not to mount it and just having it being a free floating piece. And so this ended up actually being perfect for this. So this is gonna be a three piece. Um, we're gonna pour it all together so all of them flow really well together. Once we get the paint on there, we're just gonna pull them apart so the paint can run into the middles. Okay, like I said, this is gonna be an eight cup dirty pour. Um, the colors that we are using are the uh, Teal Dazzling Metallic from Deco Art, Anita's Acrylic Deep Denim, Anita's Acrylic Midnight Blue, Craftsman or Craft Smart Sea Mist Pearl, Deco Art Americana Calypso Blue. Actually, I didn't use that one. I decided to go with the um, Craft Smart Sapphire Metallic Blue. And I think those were all of them. And there was one more. Oh, uh, Anita's Acrylic Morning Blue is the other one. I knew there was one more. Okay, so those are all the colors that we're going to use. It's going to be a very, very bluish teal. Um, I'm not putting any white into it because I have this, the sea foam or sea mist green, which is a very, very light color, a very, very muted green. And then I also have the light blue color. So um, that takes care of, you know, the, the color separation that we're going to need. So this is, like I said, it's going to be an eight cup dirty pour. We're gonna do two, four, and two. And again, it's gonna be all random pours. We're not gonna do the same thing because I want it to, to have depth and um, some difference and not just kind of look like one big piece. Uh, the mix up is, is still just paint, flow trawl, and, and water. And I did add alcohol to these because I do want cells. So I'm going to pull the paints down. Okay. And I'm just reusing some cups from the other dirty pour that I, that I did the other flip cup that I did. I do and try and put all my darker colors on the bottom just because they do take over the lighter color so much. And if you put a lighter color in your cup first and then you pour a darker color on top of it, there's a good chance that it's gonna blend a little bit and you're gonna lose some of your lighter colors. So I always try and do the darker colors first. I don't know if everybody else does that or if people agree with me or not, but that's just the way I do it. Oh, there's a big clump in that one. We're gonna have to find that. There's really no rhyme or reason. Just pick a cup and pour it in. Yeah, it's one of the great things about doing abstract art like this is every single piece is unique. There's not going to be another one like it on the entire planet, no matter 
no matter what, there's never going to be two exactly the same. Remember, the higher you pour from, the more mixing action you're going to get inside your cup and actually the better chance of getting some really neat looking cells. And I might have enough left to do like one little baby mini pour on one of my small canvases. This will be the last of the dark colors that I use. The last ones are going to be the light colors in all of them, just so there is a fluidity between all of them. I fill my cups all the way. I don't care about the splash whenever I pour or when I flip. Normally that's going to get taken care of when you start tilting. Um, so I don't worry about that that much. And I'm pretty sure that my style is not going to be some people's cup of tea and that's okay. There's sometimes I literally just start pouring and just run it really fast over the cups, just like this. Okay, that's it. Right, so we're going to get these out of the way for right now. Okay, let's get this. This one's definitely going in the center. Let's put you here. And you are going to go here. You look like you have a little bit of dark in you. Okay, we are going to let those sit for a couple of minutes. So that way the paint can make its way to the bottom. Okay, and we're back. So um, while well, I had you on pause so all this could sit so you didn't have to just sit there with dead air, I did do um, a little mini cup, um, put all these colors into it, and it's kind of just a mini flip. Um, that I'm going to use to go ahead and take care of the corners because I want to get those done because um, I don't want to have to do a whole bunch of tipping. So I'm actually going to, hopefully I have enough to do the corners and just a quick edge. So because this is needs to be a flip cup, I'm actually gonna, just going to do it on my hand real quick just to get the colors to mix up. Yep, see, there we go. Now we got them all mixed up. And so now hopefully it will blend pretty decently with everything. And I think I'm gonna get paint everywhere because my plastic didn't come far enough.
like I said, it's not going to be the exact same colors, but a lot of it's going to be runoff. Not too worried about the middle portions right here because I know those are going to get covered. So, just enough. Okay. Now, because I want to try and keep most of it when I do the pull, I'm actually going to try and push the paint towards the center. Um, because if I just do it straight up where it's at, then we're going to have a lot of the space. We're going to have to do a lot of tilting, and I don't want to have to do a lot of tilting with this. It's a really big piece, heavy piece to tilt. So we are going to start in the middle. bring them to the sides if you haven't noticed try and make sure we get there and then push it outwards okay and there's that move these off to the side We'll look for clumps. I do see a couple. And tweezers. Hopefully a lot of the clumps were taken off. bubbles. Where did you come from? Okay, so far so good. I like the depth and I like how drastic of a difference all of this is because once you separate it, um, it's really going to bring it all together. Just do a little bit more tilting just to kind of get a little bit of separation, but not much. Ooh, please do not slide off. It's one big piece just like that.
Okay, I think we're going to leave it just like that. Now, hopefully, I should be able to reach underneath. You know, I'm going to get paint all over my arm, which is okay. Um, to get the center. Got a couple pieces on this side. Actually, I don't want to use that cup. This one's more closer to that color. This one over here, just getting the sides where my hands were touching it. If the cup doesn't work, just use your finger. Okay, let's see if we get this separated now. Do you hear my dogs? They're at it again. They are at it again. go and separated well like I said paint all over my arm but that's okay okay it's a good thing I don't mind getting dirty when I paint I always just keep white rags on hand and I actually wash my rags with my husband's painting clothes. Since he's a painter, he's wear, he wears white and I just bleach the heck out of everything. Okay, so far so good. Come around and look at the other side. That looks good. Okay, we are done. Um, I got some cells starting to happen. Got a few cells. Just a little bit. That's it. We have one random dark cell right in the middle. Just a random one. I don't know where it came from. This one I saw a piece in here. There it is. Okay, let me get you down so you can take a closer look. Okay, here we are. This is the full piece. I'm really not that tall, I'm only five, two and a half, so. Some of the cells and the marbling. Blues are my favorite to work with. I love blues. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you have any suggestions of anything you would like to see, let me know. Have a great night and God bless.